Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over how we can make a custom truth or dare game using Python and tkinter. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open up a text editor. Like always, I use Atom, but you can use whatever you want. I'll link Atom in the description if you want to follow along with my tutorial exactly. But the first thing we need to do is import tkinter as tk. We want to import, or from random, we want to import all and then import date time. Go ahead and save your file. I'm going to name mine truth or dare dot pod and save it. Now if we want our script to be completely random every time we use it we need to seed it with something that is always changing. We can do this using the date time. So we can say now is equal to date time dot date time dot now and then we can seed it using that new variable. The next thing we need to decide is what we want to be our truths and what we want to be our dares. I've already typed up a few of these so I'm just going to copy and paste them in to save time but you can make this whatever you want. Once you have that typed up we need to make two functions that decide what truth and what dare is randomly displayed. We can do that by typing def and naming the function I'm going to name on dare and then saying dare let's actually make it something different dare output is equal to choice of the dares that you have listed next we just need to print dare output we can do the same thing for the truth so def truth designated as a function truth output equal choice truths print truth output. Next we just need to make our tkinter instance. We can do that by saying root is equal to tk dot tk the function. Next we need to designate a window or a frame to our tkinter instance. We can do this by saying frame is equal to tk dot frame and then input the root into the function. Lastly we need to decide what kind of window we want. I'm just going to say frame dot pack. To save a little bit of time, I'm going to copy and paste the button code over, but I'll talk through it. Pasting it in, we see everything right here was pasted. So what we're saying is we want a button using tk in the button function from tkinter, designate it to this frame that we've already assigned, have the text on it be truth, we want the command to be the function truth, which we've established right here, and then we're just assigning the location on the frame using this line right here. And then we do the same thing with the dare button. So we assign it to the same frame, it has the text of dare, and then the command is the function that we established right here. The last thing we need to do is make this a continuously looping function. That way you can always play it whenever you have the script running. You can do that with the command root.mainloop and then close it as a function. Once you have this, go ahead and save your file. Now that's all the scripting. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my window, that way we can see how it works. I'm going to open up a terminal. I already have tkinter installed, but if you do not, you'll probably need to run pip3 install tkinter. Once your terminal is open, if you already have tkinter installed, you can just type python3, truth or dare, or the name of whatever you named your python script, and then hit the return button to execute it. This should pull up a small little window on your desktop that looks like this one. Now we can just hit the truth or dare button and it's going to generate a response in our terminal. When I hit the dare button, we see that we get a subscribe to the channel. When I hit it again, we get the same thing. And the same thing. And the same thing. But it is random. So my script is just saying that it really wants you to subscribe to my channel. And I would appreciate it if you did. But we can just keep on playing with this and see that it is random. And you can make this all your own. That's pretty much all the scripting that I have. So if there's any questions or if you want to do something more with this, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you in whatever way that I can. Thank you for watching my video.